Here's the complete workout from today. We're performing a superset with non-conflicting muscle groups in order to save time. Rest one minute between unilateral exercises and around two minutes between exercise pairs. We're doing a total of 27 sets. If done authentically, you're going to be roasted. That's why we're not doing anything extra. The dumbbell overhead press is a perfect exercise for upper body gains. Overhead press helps growing bigger and stronger shoulders, particularly the anterior or front delts. Regarding technique, you want to be using an elbow position aligned with the scapular plane, aka tucked or 45 degrees. Proper technique doesn't end there. We want to get those elbows straight and shoulders shrugged up at the top. Emphasizing the lockout forces optimal muscle and strength gain when going overhead. Lastly, it's an overhead press, so we want to treat it as a vertical movement. Without the luxury of machines or heavy weights, going unilateral is the answer. Split squats are excellent for getting an effective, minimalist workout. Going single leg ups the intensity quite significantly. A wider stance vertical shin split squat emphasizes the posterior chain. This is excellent for those wanting more glute and hamstring. A narrow stance and inclined shin angle emphasize the anterior chain. Do you want to grow those quads bigger? This is your go-to exercise variation. The optimal setup is holding the dumbbell in one arm and bracing with the other. This eliminates the balance aspect and allows us to push the intensity higher. Now we can focus on using perfect technique and simply doing the work required. Aim for 90 degrees of hip flexion when squatting down or knee level with hip. For most people, this range of motion will be sufficient to stretch, stimulate and progress. Let's return to an upper body exercise with single arm rows. Rows are a pulling movement targeting the back, posterior shoulders and also biceps. You watching at home are probably following along without heavy weights. Being strict with form and setup is the best way to up the intensity. Bracing the body with the hand increases stability without unnecessary torso fatigue. Don't worry, that's going to come later in Romanian deadlifts. Next, doing single arm exercise is always a great idea for enhancing symmetry or reducing side to side differences. You should look at our minimal training environment as an opportunity to use dominant technique and tempo. I'm getting a huge stretch and mindful squeeze. There's no swinging around or unnecessary momentum to hoist the weights up. The back, shoulder and bicep are all doing their job when tempo, technique and effort align. Minimizing extraneous body movements keeps the tension on the back, shoulder and arm. Very important. The big tip you should apply is always start each workout, each set with the weaker side first before switching. Let's continue with the infamous push-up, the calisthenics classic. The dumbbell push-up is going to increase range of motion and effectiveness. How wide you set the dumbbells matters for emphasizing different muscle groups. If you want to target the triceps or arms, use a shoulder width grip and tucked elbow orientation. If the goal is hitting chest, take the dumbbells wider apart. The dumbbell neutral grip is also much friendlier on the wrists and requires less mobility. Hello pain-free reps. Additionally, the hand elevation allows the shoulder girdle to undergo a deeper range of motion, deeper stretch and deeper gains. Global technique is easy for push-ups. Shoulder blades together on the way down and push tall through the chest at lockout. Basically, take all of your joints through their maximum controllable range for best results. In order to get the maximum benefit from bodyweight push-ups, use a strict speed. Controlled negatives, very brief pause in the deep stretch and fast on the way up. How we perform our 10 to 20 rep set is more important than numbers alone. Uphold strict technique, work with legit effort and progress over time. Don't have a pull up bar? All right, let's compromise with the dumbbell pullover. For today's purposes, we're using this mainly as a lat builder. However, keep in mind the chest and tricep muscles will fatigue also. That's functionally normal. For shoulder safety, keep those elbows tucked in towards the body. This small technical adjustment shifts the stress from joints to muscles, exactly what we want. Range of motion is highly individual based on your available mobility. We want to lower as deep as we can without pain, getting a nice stretch in the lats. Return to the top with the dumbbell hovering vertically over the chest. No need to go any further. There's often debate what to do with the back and how to brace. Simply keep the bum on the bench plus or minus a hollow body. Arching is also fine. As long as the glutes remain planted, the lat origin will stay relatively fixed and the exercise will do the job. 
Because we're focusing on the lats with the pullover, this scapular cue is going to help. When pulling towards the chest, depress the shoulder blades or think of pulling your elbows down towards the bench. Pullovers with moderate loads are a real mind muscle exercise. Really pay attention to technique and tempo to get the most out of this minimalist pull-up substitute. You're going to love this dumbbell ab crunch. It's a fun and effective core exercise. We're getting the benefit of trunk flexion and hollow body training, a highly useful core combination for bodyweight mastery. My recommendation is to use fairly light loads because these get tough very quickly. As the weight is held distally, the load plus leg weight is more than challenging enough. When doing the ab crunch, we want to simultaneously curl up using our trunk and legs. Very important is the stretch or extension of the body. Be sure to lengthen the body out fully with a brace core, hollow body. What also helps for creating stability and core engagement is leg technique. During the ab crunch, aim to squeeze the feet and legs together. This recruits our adductor muscles, which feeds into developing even more core strength. For those who've been paying attention to form, breathing matters. As you pump out the reps at home, be sure to exhale hard when crunching in. This small detail once again helps with rep to rep consistency and complete ab recruitment. We're all about technique and sustainable effort at Fitness FAQs. The ab crunch is a great opportunity to undergo three sets of honest work. Good luck and enjoy the burn. It's time to finish up with one final leg exercise, Romanian deadlifts. Hip hinging is highly useful for daily function. More importantly though, it's going to grow a big and strong posterior chain. Romanians are simple in theory, but sometimes tricky when first starting out. Think about shifting the shoulders forwards while the hips go backwards. Doing this action will automatically lower the dumbbells, creating a stretch in the back, glutes, and hamstrings. Use maximum depth while maintaining a natural or neutral curve in the lower back. When this area feels like it's going to bend forward, that's the limit of your range of motion. For most people, this will be around mid to lower shin. That's normal. When all is applied correctly, the amount of knee bend should be comparable from top to bottom. A fixed knee makes Romanians effective for targeting the posterior chain at the hip. Remember, these are deadlifts and not squats. There's a huge difference in technique. Lastly, be sure to keep the dumbbells close to the body for future proofing technique. Romanians benefit most from a three second negative, a pause, followed by an explosive hip thrusting concentric. This technique makes it possible to hinge correctly and it also ensures excellent eccentric overload is prioritized. A final and small cue worth mentioning is that hip thrust at the top. As the name suggests, I'm pushing my hips forward and squeezing glutes at lockout. I'm simply returning to standing. Don't make the common mistake of an exaggerated lower back arch. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up below to support fitness FAQs and check out our channel for more videos.